Hey everybody, welcome back to the Excelico Real Estate channel. My name is Jeremy Rickard and I am the real estate broker for Excelico Real Estate here in sunny Central Florida. As always, we don't want decisions made out of fear. We want to get you as educated as possible and I want to be your guide. Today, we are going to be talking about the timing, timing of buying and selling real estate. It's not really as complicated as most people make it out to be because what we want to do is we want to buy when the supply is up and the demand is down. We get the best deals that way. We want to sell when the supply is down and the demand is way up. We get the best prices at that point. But that's just the most basic way of thinking about it. And I want to put it into a calendar formula because let's just assume for a second that you've got six months to make your decision. So that's basically two halves of the calendar year or, or some portion thereof. So let's say if you are a buyer, Jeremy, what is the best time during the year to buy? Because there are cycles to these things and it does matter where you live in this country. Why do I say that? Well, in Florida, I will say that uh, it is generally hot here to here. And the reason I say that is it really doesn't change pretty much when people can go out and look at homes because of the weather. Now granted in this general vicinity of the year we might have some rainy seasons but that's about it. Now if you live up in the northeast you have a lot of snow that might dictate when people get out and go look for houses but here in sunny central Florida it's pretty much hot all year round. So then we look at some other things throughout the year for the calendar. Let's talk about um, as far as buying a property when might the supply start to rise and the demand would go down. Well we want to look at things such as holidays. Anytime there's holidays around, people are spending a lot of money. Therefore, they're not uh, going out and using that money to buy houses. And the supply of homes tends to get a little bit larger. Now, that carries over. So you've got a lot of holidays around the November, December, any last part of October time period. You've got New Year's over here in January. So you've got a lot of holiday times. And then also, our taxes are collected at the end of November. So people are paying out a lot more money towards the end of the year and that carries over so they don't have as much money in these months here. So November, December, January, and February, if you are looking to buy a home, this is generally the time in Florida where the, uh, the, the supply of homes tends to grow a little bit. Now again, when they come over to the first part of the year, a lot of people are, uh, are paying off credit cards, paying off debt because they spent so much money on the holidays and Thanksgiving and Christmas and that sort of a thing. So they don't have as much money. However, coming to the springtime, this general region, we have tax time. Now, nobody's a fan of taxes, but I, I think everybody's a fan of tax returns. So when they get that money back, there's a little bit more money in the pocket that they can do something with. And we're coming to the end of a school year, okay? So school years right here, we want to pay attention to that. So we've got a lot of vacation times and a lot, of more, a lot more free time. So we've got money in the pocket from tax returns here. And then we've got free time here. And so for a buyer, or I'm sorry, for a seller, a seller is going to be looking to sell sometime in this range. So we'll put this up here to sell. Buyers are more in November and December. So if you want to go by this, that you buy when the supply is high and the demand is low, buy in November, December, January, February. We tend to see an escalation in supply. Therefore, there's more to choose from. Sellers have to negotiate just a little bit more. However, if you're looking to sell, you want to sell when the supply is down and the demand is high, demand goes up during this time period of the year. So this is generally the better time to sell your property. Now, 
at any point in time during the year, you may have to sell your property very quickly, or you may be in a situation where you need to buy a property very quickly. You need to find an agent who knows the market and knows what they're doing, no matter what time of year that it is. We want to be that agent for you. We want to uh, help you navigate the ins and outs of buying and selling real estate. Contact us when you guys are when you're ready. Uh, to make your next move, especially to Central Florida. We'd love to help you out. You can find us at ExcelCoreRealEstate.com. You can follow us on social media, ExcelCore Real Estate, on Instagram at ExcelCore Real Estate TV. Again, we'd love to help you out. If you have any further questions or want to comment down below, we'd greatly appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe, and we will catch you next time.